hello my darlings that was pretty quick that it like popped off like that i hit the button so here is part two of my wrestling i like to watch wrestling and robert actually introduced me to ecw and here's somebody for the wayback machine terry funk mm-hmm bobby eaton mm-hmm like way way in the way back machine all these wrestlers they gave us some hope I think that they gave us some hope to think that we could do or be what we wanted to do or be you know I think they did and I think that that's important because like as children we're told you can grow up and be whatever you want to be and some of us believe that and some of us actually do that. And then some of us say, okay, reality sets in. We have no money. And we don't have a lot of opportunity or so we think. So we decide, no, we can't do it. But then I guess stuff just happens. And we decide to take roads less traveled. Kind of like that Robert Frost poem. But I just wanted to say that the reason why for all this wrestling stuff is that just like wrestlers, singers, actresses, actors, all of these people, they're entertainers, but they also give us a sense of belonging. They give us a sense to want to be something, want to be more than we become because of the movies they do, the success that they have. And how we want to be like them. That's important to have somebody that you look up to. And whether a singer or an actor or entertainer of some kind, even if you look up to your mom and dad, even if you look up to your grandparents, like I really looked up to my Aunt Paula, and I still do, because she was a single mom, three kids, working her ass off to support those three kids. And she did it every day and she's still doing it. And her kids are grown. But she's still working herself, to, her ass off to even support herself and doing her thing. Whatever that is, she's doing her thing. And she's doing it well. Because that's how she survives. So I look up to her because she's important. And she teaches me a lesson that no matter what life gives you, you work hard and you get what you can and working hard yields results they may not be fortune and fame it may not be what you think that you need or you want per se but it is what you need so for you to just like write it off and say okay I'm a loser and that's that you don't need to think that because look at all of these wrestlers for instance they had their days where they just wanted to write it off and they traveled their travels and they did their thing they had to do many a shows where they didn't get paid at all like not one red dime nothing not red one red penny and they had to do that and they didn't get paid a thing they paid their dues so to speak so we all pay our dues in our own ways my aunt she paid her dues and now she's still working in her way but she gets to enjoy her grandchildren which is awesome I've paid my dues in my own way and I'm still paying my dues but I do get to enjoy my friends, my family. I get to do this for you guys and show content. Whether, well, if you guys watch it, then obviously you like it. But it just depends. So I'm just saying that everybody does their thing. And everybody pays their dues in their way. And everybody has their thing that they do. And I don't even know where I'm going with this. I'm just saying, you're always more than you become. 
and there's always more for you to do. And just because you're not a singer, wrestler, whatever your main dream was, doesn't mean that there aren't more dreams to be had. I've always wanted to be a mom. Always. I'm not going to be a mom to one child. But when I look back, I've been a mother to thousands. And to me, that is more of a reward than being a mother to one child. So, I'm going to wrap this up. And I hope that this made a little bit of sense. <laughs> but also, comment below and let me know what you think. I'm really, really interested in what you think about the vlogs, what you think about what I've said, and the questions that I've posed to you. And definitely tell me who your favorite wrestler is, because I definitely want to know. Um, also, I forgot to mention the Wyatts. Just a little FYI. Some of the newer ones that I really like is the Wyatts. And Randy Orton. He's an older one. But he's awesome too. And CM Punk. All of these are coming to me now that I want to wrap everything up. <laughs> anyway, just remember. Just because one dream is down. Or all of your dreams are down. Because that was the last dream that I had hold of was to be a mom. Doesn't mean that there aren't more dreams to be had. My dream now is to do my Starry Night Nursery. And hopefully share my dolls with the world. So that other people who cannot have children or their dream to be a mom is over like mine can at least have these dolls for some comfort. So until then, my darlings, mwah, bye.